so this is new prime video series uh, that is Australian dark dry comedy that I think is going to split fans I think you're either going to love it and find it quite funny or you're just going to be like this is not my cup of tea there's going to be no real middle ground let's talk about it feminist noir comedy set against the bucolic backdrop with a rising body count deadlock so literally within the first half an episode i went and checked reviews because i knew this was going to push people's buttons literally the imdb first review that you get on there gives us a two out of ten and says i sat through an episode and a half it was all torture i tried to make it to the end of the second episode but i just couldn't do it i found i was falling asleep that's just some of what people are saying the mixed responses that people have on this series and then there's me who was belly laughing in places was laughing and sniggering pretty much the whole way through all the episodes i've seen which is three now for me i thought this was the intent of it comes across quite cleanly it's a sense of humor that i love from the new zealand sense of humor the south african sense of humor the australian sense of humor that can be very dry and dark and it only works if the dialogue is tight and quite twisted now the imdb synopsis there this is a feminist noir yeah it is feminist in places but i didn't find that that was what it was like being a feminist series it more it was more like kind of not making fun of it but making fun with them some of the dark humor comes from that the relationships that you see the things that you hear them say are really funny and then dealing with people who are over the top exuberant and full of nonsense at the same time the way they respond to things happening is what makes this series really interesting so we have a a female once was detective but now she's lower ranking and her body drops on the beach and what we get is the start to i would say a serial killer or a series of kills that our ex-detective cop has to deal with and because she's an ex-detective cop and no longer kind of deals with that kind of issue there is another cop detective that kind of is sent with her who is an extreme person <laughs> who dresses like they belong on a beach in hawaii and she is just one of those cops that you can kind of all characters that you can kind of love to hate but there is this weird camaraderie or butting of heads that kind of works they're similar to the lethal weapon you know until they've built themselves a, a chemistry or built themselves a relationship they're gonna butt heads and that goes on for the you know for a couple of episodes but already at the end of episode two they're starting to see eye to eye with each other as the investigation gets darker and takes a turn i guess for the worse and then you have all the townspeople now this is a town that has about two thousand people in it and so everybody knows each other's business somebody is hiding a secret and everybody knows that they're hiding a secret most of the time everybody knows everything but nobody will want to talk to anybody especially because they probably have some influence over the situation that's happening because so and so has said something it's that sort of small town aesthetic feeling how people will help each other but only if it benefits them it's a real twisted dark comedy that has a who's done it feeling to it but this kind of world that we find ourselves in where our cop has a, a past because of something that's happened she, she she has a partner that doesn't want her to work in this who who is so exuberant in her way of life it feels like a fake happiness a facade so you have all these characters that are going on that are really well fleshed out each character you come across is either annoying or you want them to be something different there's a police force here that i find to be the most untalented bunch of police officers at least their portrayal of you know they don't know how to do anything so when it comes to having a murder case it just feels like well how they're ever going to get anything done and yet we have this one previous detective cop and a detective trying to solve something and it's a it's a it's a series of events that leads to interesting comedic dark moments you will often find yourself belly laughing if this is your sort of comedy that tickles you i uh <laughs> i love this i think it's really funny i haven't seen the whole thing so i can't give it a full rating but i'm getting close to that kind of four and a half nothing from this series so far has turned me off i really want to see what happens next but suffice to say this was a surprise i knew this was coming out movies and munchies chris from movies and munchies let me know that this was coming out i had screeners and forgot i even had them so i just caught them when they dropped and surprising content that's good that 
you know kind of catches you off guard when you review content in day in and day out and something that still makes you laugh and makes you want to watch that means it's done something good so let me know your thoughts and feelings on these episodes so far you enjoying it love to hear your thoughts down below thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long on tuesday